Hello, I'm Craig Jeffrey, the Managing Partner of Strategic Treasure, and I wanted to welcome you to the 2016 version of the Treasury Aggregator Analyst Report. So first of all, what is a Treasury Aggregator? There's two key elements of a Treasury Aggregator. One is multi-bank reporting, and the second is a payment hub capability. Multi-bank reporting is the process where uh, a Treasury Aggregator takes this information from multiple banks uh, balances, uh, transactions, and consolidates, gathers that information, consolidates it, and provides it to whatever system or systems the company needs. The payment hub capability can take payment instructions from an accounting system, an ERP, a treasury management system, and put those payments into the various formats that are required and deliver those to banks across the globe, either directly or through uh, various networks. So what do treasury aggregators offer? And as you can see from this uh, chart, there's, there's those different levels of connectivity, data transformation, and data validation. So first, there's the bank connectivity. This is connectivity through SWIFT or through other networks, uh, direct host-to-host -host connections, um, other types of networks, uh, such as EBIX or ACH or in-country networks. Second is data transformation. This is the process of taking data. It might be in a fixed file format or uh, delimited file format and putting it into the proper format to originate those payments, whether it's a wire transfer format like an MT-101 uh, or it might be one of the newer XML formats. And finally, there's uh, some data security elements that are provided by the aggregator. So this might be sanction screen for uh, parties that are not to receive funds. Uh, it also provide data validation checking to make sure that the information is complete, is accurate, uh, and finally, there might be some enhanced security features such as uh, SAML2 or single sign-on, uh, IP filtering, etc. So why are treasury aggregators important? First is rapid uh, globalization of organizations. Uh, one third of organizations conduct business in over 20 countries, and that doesn't even touch on their entire supply chain. Uh, so organizations continue with globalization. Second, there's a changing payment and financial messaging formats and networks which increase the complexity. So supporting all those internally becomes an increasing challenge as those change and as organizations expand to more countries. And third is the evolving and ever growing compliance expectations. So just looking at this one chart, you can see uh, in the US OFAC penalties have tripled in the past four years when compared to the prior four years. Other elements of compliance are increased, whether it's uh, related to foreign bank account reporting, FATCA, uh, as well as OFAC, which we just discussed. Finally, uh, fraud, uh, the level of fraud has increased. We've, we've gotten to a point where prime does pay. And this all has impacts on how you handle and manage payments. So what area does this report cover uh, to dive in? So first, it talks about the key drivers of what makes organizations use treasury aggregators. It covers uh, details about message format conversion and compatibilities to know uh, what uh, aggregators handle, which type of of formats and can support different types of banks. It also discusses and covers bank connectivity, how you can get connected to different banks, uh, to various types of networks. Uh, it covers in some depth data validation and sanction screening capabilities, whether it's regular lists or private lists. Uh, fifth, it covers a number of the security features that is extremely important to every organization. It also discusses and, and touches on some of the abilities and pre-programmed integration with treasury management systems. And finally, it covers the payment systems uh, uh, landscape and helps explain difference in terms of payment hub and payment factory and helps demystify and clarify some of those terms. And then we dive into some of the, the leading treasury aggregators on a section by section basis. And so you can see Axeltree, Bottom Line, ECS, and Fidesz within this report. For each of these companies, there's a pictorial leading, which is a type of enriched infographic that provides uh, a company overview, an overview of the products that they offer, the company and product strengths, their onboarding cycle and capabilities, a customer and prospect overview, like who are they targeting, uh, as well as the customer experience. So I invite you to look at the link and download the full report. We thank you for watching.